Now the biggest struggle at the beginning was how do you get people to understand the value of product placement? How do you get them to do that? Because they'll ask you how many seconds? And of course, and ah, this is my favorite story. When I, whenever I pitch people, I would say to them, oh man, I, I suppose I can't use uh, real names here. I'm not... <laughs> no. John, William is one. William. <laughs> So you see a cooking show, right? And you see this huge banner behind. And they say, no, we're going to sponsor your show. We want a banner all across the, the back. And then I watched the shows that I looked up to. MasterChef, Chop. Do you see any banners? No, it's pure product placement, right? So I insisted that that's not a direction I'm, I'm willing to go. You know, so going back to, to resources, all these things, you know, it almost sounds like you're saying, well, you don't have the resources. People are telling you that if you do this, they'll give you the money. Why are you not accepting it? And at that stage, it was really about knowing what I want to put out there. So we borrowed the cameras, the lights we took down from everywhere. We hedged a lot of the team that worked in season one were on an agreement where we said, when we make the money, you will get the money. And that was another way to finance that, that operation. That was season one. Closing that up, how do, you, how, do you, how do you actually make the money? 2015, 4th of December, I'm sitting with my wife and we're having a discussion about how do we, how do we take this thing forward? And after having season one in the bag and again pitching, remember you produce something and then you go and you pitch people. So pitch everyone I could think of in the FMCG industry and I one final meeting. And I say to her, listen, one last one, we go, we pitch. We pitch the pick and pay people. South African um, leadership at the helm of this and we say, let's see what, what these guys will say. And I walk in with a 55 inch TV under my arm. I'm not the biggest guy, so it's really hard for me to carry something TV. And the managing director of Pick and Play looks at me and says, okay, you, okay, fine, whatever. You, you could have seen it on the laptop, but put it on. <laughs> and I put the TV on, on the table, set it up, had a banner, which was already said, TM Pick and Pay, Battle of the Chefs, season two opened it up, left it in his office, switched the TV on, and showed him, showed him the video of the final of season one. And it took him five minutes to make a decision. He said to me, Joe, how much? I gave him the figures, and then he said to me, bring the contracts on Monday, and we will sign. And to this day, Uh, the moment I don't forget is leaving that office, sitting in the cup, and crying. Because I just wept. Because finally, it was validation. It was like, wow, I'm not crazy. Someone sees <laughs> that there is value in this. I'm going to wrap up because I think that's, that's all you, that you really need to know about it. And the rest we will cover in the Q&A. It is so fulfilling to be where we are now, where we're producing season three. I do know what color temperature is. You know? I understand what color, color grading is. And in fact, you know, I'm so happy to see Emmanuel here, who's been doing color grading for us. And this is one of the beauties of this industry. You, know, you get to meet amazing people. And there are so many people who are amazing and just waiting to get their hands onto something.